Steve Jobs turned that one into money too. He, he sold it as a cheap terminal to a local timesharing outfit. But Steve was up in Oregon. We, we, I had to do the breakout game for Atari in four days and nights because Steve needed money to move into, um, into a commune up in Oregon where he lived with other people and farmed orchards or whatever. So he's up in Oregon and the Homebrew Computer Club started up. Homebrew Computer Club, maybe about 250 people of us at the most, and nobody who kind of had wherewithal, nobody who was company executives and businessmen, it was just people who believed that with the microprocessor, we were gonna have computers that people could afford to have their own computer. And Stanford professors would tell us, oh my gosh, we're gonna have better communication. You'll be able to type a message into a big computer somewhere, and within one hour, a hundred people will be able to read your message. Wow! You know, and with education, kids were going to use a hundred percent of their neurons instead of only ten percent once they had computers. And I remember sitting in my seat getting scared because in about three years I'm going to be out of business. All these smart kids, all these young kids are going to be doing more than me. <laughs> and this social, all this social revolution, and what was, what's my talent? My talent is making computers.